Welcome to back YouTube Chanel Master Auto Information in please like and subscribe to my channel watching the video, the 2025 Airbus A321XLR is one of the most exciting developments in commercial aviation, and it's already making headlines across the airline industry. Designed to push the boundaries of narrow body aircraft, the A321XLR stands for extra long range and is part of the Airbus A320neo family. But unlike its siblings, this aircraft changes the game by offering long haul capabilities in a single aisle jet. So what makes it so special, and why are so many airlines eager to get their hands on it? Let's start with the basics. The Airbus A321XLR was introduced as the next step in the evolution of the A320neo family. It builds on the success of the A321neo and the A321LR which already offered more range than traditional narrow-body aircraft. But the XLR takes it even further. It offers a maximum range of around 4,700 nautical miles or about 5,400 regular miles which is about 15% more than the A321LR. That means it can fly non-stop from New York to Rome, Miami to London, or Los Angeles to Tokyo all without needing to refuel. This increase in range is made possible by a new rear center tank design. Airbus added a permanent extra fuel tank integrated into the lower fuselage. This clever design not only increases fuel capacity but also saves weight compared to using several auxiliary fuel tanks. And that means better fuel efficiency, better range, and better economics for the airlines. Speaking of fuel efficiency, that's another major selling point for the A321XLR. Like the rest of the A320neo family, it's powered by next generation engineers either the Pratt Whitney PW1100GJM or the CFM International Leap 1R. These engines are more efficient, quieter, and cleaner than older models. Combine that with the A321XLR's aerodynamic improvements and lighter structure and you get about 30% lower fuel burn per seat compared to older aircraft of similar size. That's a big win for airlines trying to cut costs and reduce emissions. Now let's talk about the passenger experience. Even though it's a single aisle jet, the A321XLR is designed for long haul comfort. Airbus offers the airspace cabin, which includes larger overhead bins, mood lighting, quieter cabins and more comfortable seating. Passengers can expect a better experience compared to older narrow-body planes, with the kind of amenities you'd normally associate with a wide-body jet. And because the A321XLR can carry up to 244 passengers in an all-economy configuration, or around 180 to 200 in a typical two-class layout, it's a good balance between capacity and comfort. Airlines love the A321XLR not just for its range and efficiency, but also because of its flexibility. For years, airlines have been looking for a way to serve thin long-haul routes or routes that don't have enough demand to fill a big plane like a Boeing 787 or Airbus A350 but are too long for a traditional narrow body jet. The A321XLR solves that problem. Now, airlines can offer non-stop service between smaller cities or secondary airports, which opens up a whole new range of travel options for passengers. For example, instead of flying from Boston to London via a major hub, you could fly directly. That's a huge convenience for travelers and a smart move for airlines trying to reach new markets. Several US carriers have already placed big orders for the A321XLR. American Airlines, for instance, has over 50 of them on order. They're planning to use the XLR for transatlantic flights from smaller US cities, allowing them to expand their international network without needing bigger planes. JetBlue is also adding the A321XLR to its fleet. They've already started long-haul flights to London using the A321LR, and the XLR will let them go even farther. United Airlines is another major customer, 
signaling that the big three U.S. carriers see real value in this aircraft. And it's not just American Airlines. Carriers around the world are from Europe to Asia to the Middle East who are lining up to add the XLR to their fleets. Why? Because the economics make sense. Operating a wide-body jet on a long, low-demand route can be expensive and risky. But with the A321 XLR, Airlines can operate those routes more profitably. It's all about matching capacity to demand while still offering a great product to passengers. The A321XLR is also helping airlines meet their environmental goals. With its lower emissions and fuel consumption, it's a more sustainable option compared to older aircraft. That's important as the industry faces increasing pressure to reduce its carbon footprint. Airbus says the A321XLR emits about 20% less CO2 per seat compared to previous generation planes, and with growing focus on sustainability, that could make a big difference in how airlines shape their future fleets. Production of the A321XLR is happening at several Airbus facilities, including in the United States. The final assembly line in Mobile, Alabama, is playing a key role in building a 321XLRS for American customers. That's good news for U.S. manufacturing and helps Airbus compete more directly with Boeing on American soil. The first deliveries were expected in 2024, but by 2025 the aircraft is set to enter widespread commercial service across the globe. Airbus has also worked hard to ensure that the A321XLR meets all the necessary safety and certification requirements. It underwent rigorous testing program, including flight tests under various conditions, and multiple safety assessments by global aviation regulators. With modern avionics, flight control systems, and enhanced pilot training protocols. The A321XLR is designed to meet or exceed all modern safety standards. Let's not forget about cargo. The A321XLR can carry a decent amount of belly cargo, making it a good option for shipping goods as well as people. That adds another layer of revenue potential for airlines especially on long routes where cargo demand is strong. During the pandemic, many airlines leaned heavily on cargo revenue, and having a plane that can handle both passengers and freight efficiently is a real asset. So what does the future look like with the A321XLR? Well, it's likely that we'll see a big shift in how people travel internationally. More non-stop routes between smaller cities. Less reliance on big hubs. More choices for passengers. And better fuel efficiency all around. The A321XLR is giving airlines the tools to be more creative and competitive. It's also changing the dynamics between Boeing and Airbus. Boeing has struggled in recent years with the 737 MAX program and has yet to launch a true competitor to the A321XLR. There have been rumors about a new mid-market airplane from Boeing, but nothing has been officially announced. In the meantime, Airbus has taken a clear lead in the long-range narrow body space, and with hundreds of XLRs on order, They've carved out a strong position in this critical market segment. To wrap things up, the 2025 Airbus A321XLR is more than just a longer range version of an existing plane. It's a whole new way to think about air travel. It combines the efficiency of a narrow body jet with the range of a wide body, offering flexibility, sustainability, and profitability. It's a smart move by Airbus and a win-win for both airlines and passengers. Whether you're a frequent flyer or just love aviation, the A321XLR is a plane worth paying attention to. It's shaping the future of air travel, one non-stop flight at a time. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel Master Auto Information for more updates on aircraft, automobiles, and future technology. See you in the next video.